Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Lion of God channel. I am so excited to have you here today because we're going to dive deep into an important and often misunderstood part of the twin flame journey. What the Divine Masculine truly thinks during separation. For many of you, this separation phase can feel like an emotional roller coaster filled with questions, uncertainty, and moments of doubt. You might wonder if the Divine Masculine is even aware of the depth of your connection, or if he feels the intensity as deeply as you do. Trust me, beautiful souls, the Divine Masculine feels this connection profoundly, even if it may not always be obvious on the surface. In today's video, we'll explore 12 key thoughts the Divine Masculine experiences during separation. We'll journey through the emotions, realizations, and spiritual growth that unfold for him in this sacred space of separation. Each of these thoughts plays a vital role in his awakening, transformation, and ultimately, the path to union. So, settle in, grab a warm drink, and let's walk this path together. And, as always, if you find this video insightful, please like, subscribe, and share to help us spread this light. Number 1. Why am I so drawn to her? Even during separation, the Divine Masculine feels an undeniable pull toward the Divine Feminine. It's not something he can logically explain, and it often leaves him questioning why, no matter how much time has passed or how much distance is between them, he still feels her presence so vividly. This magnetic force is the universe's way of reminding him of the sacred bond they share. It's not just attraction or nostalgia. It's his soul's recognition of its other half. This feeling becomes a compass, guiding him back to the truth of the connection, even when he's unsure of what steps to take next. Number two, am I truly ready for this connection? Doubt often creeps in for the Divine Masculine as he grapples with the weight of the twin flame journey. He may feel overwhelmed by the intensity and responsibility that comes with such a profound bond. The twin flame path requires deep vulnerability, openness, and willingness to face one's shadows, and the Divine Masculine may question if he has what it takes. These moments of self-doubt are crucial because they force him to confront his fears and insecurities. It's during these times that he begins to peel away the layers of ego and starts the process of genuine healing and transformation. Number 3. No matter what, I can't let her go. Despite the physical distance or the silence between them, the Divine Masculine finds himself unable to fully let go. He may try to move on or distract himself with other aspects of life, but there's always something pulling him back. A memory. A feeling. A sudden thought of the Divine Feminine that feels so real. It's as if she's right there. This is not by accident. This lingering connection is his soul's way of reminding him that this bond is unbreakable no matter the circumstances. It is a call from the universe, urging him to understand that true love transcends physical presence and time. Number four, what lessons do I need to learn? Right now, the Divine Masculine begins to recognize that separation is not just about distance. It's a period designed for deep introspection and growth. He starts to shift his perspective, viewing this time apart as an opportunity to confront old wounds, past traumas, and fears that have held him back. Instead of seeing separation as a setback, he learns to embrace it as a sacred space for healing. He realizes that in order to be with his Divine Feminine in the purest and most aligned way, he must first become whole within himself. It's about creating a solid foundation for union, one built on growth, understanding, and unconditional love. 
Number 5. Am I good enough for her? Feelings of inadequacy surface as the Divine Masculine reflects on his past actions, fears and mistakes. He may question whether he is truly worthy of such a profound and sacred connection. These moments are significant because they push him to confront the parts of himself that need healing. It's a deeply transformative phase where he begins to shed the layers of self-doubt and embrace his own worth. By doing this inner work, he learns that he doesn't need to be perfect for the Divine Feminine. He just needs to show up authentically with a willingness to grow and evolve. Number 6. I can feel her presence everywhere. Even when separated, the Divine Masculine often senses the energy of the Divine Feminine all around him. He may feel her presence in unexpected moments, through a song, a dream, or a simple feeling of warmth and love that washes over him. These experiences are not coincidences. They are reminders from the universe of the eternal bond they share. It's as if her energy is a guiding light, helping him navigate his spiritual journey, even when they are apart. This constant energetic connection serves as an anchor, grounding him and reminding him that he is not alone on this path. Number 7. I need to heal my past wounds. The separation phase is a time when the Divine Masculine becomes increasingly aware of the past wounds that still linger within him. He understands that in order to move forward and step into the fullness of this connection, he must confront and heal these parts of himself. It could be unresolved childhood traumas, past relationship patterns, or limiting beliefs that have kept him stuck. This realization is a powerful catalyst for growth as it forces him to go within and do the necessary inner work. It's a challenging process, but it's essential for clearing the path toward union. Number eight, how can I become the man she deserves? As he delves deeper into his journey, the Divine Masculine starts to reflect on the kind of partner he wants to be. He realizes that in order to create a harmonious and lasting union, he must embody the qualities of a Divine Masculine, one who is strong, compassionate, aligned, and supportive. This phase is all about self-improvement and growth. He begins to work on becoming the best version of himself, not just for the Divine Feminine, but also for his own spiritual evolution. It's about finding the balance between being independent and being ready to merge energies with his twin. Number 9. Does she still think about me? There are moments when the Divine Masculine wonders if the Divine Feminine still feels the connection as intensely as he does. He may look for signs, hoping to feel a sense of reassurance that their bond is as unbreakable as he believes. This thought brings about a mix of hope and longing. It's a reminder for him to trust the divine timing of their journey, knowing that while they may be walking separate paths for now, they are still energetically aligned. This phase teaches him about surrender, learning to trust that when the time is right, their paths will cross again. Number 10. I must trust the process. At a certain point, the Divine Masculine begins to accept that he cannot control the outcome of this journey. He learns that surrender is not about giving up, but about trusting the universe to guide their connection. He realizes that everything happening, even the separation, is part of a bigger plan for both their growth and evolution. As he surrenders to the process, he finds a sense of peace, knowing that when he and the Divine Feminine are ready, the universe will align their paths once again. Number 11, this time apart, is preparing me for union. The Divine Masculine begins to see separation as a sacred preparation for the union he deeply desires. 
he understands that this time apart is necessary for both him and the Divine Feminine to become whole individuals. It's about creating a foundation built on healing, growth, and spiritual alignment. He embraces the journey, knowing that every challenge and every lesson is preparing them for a harmonious, lasting union that transcends the limitations of the physical world. Number 12. I will find my way back to her. The final and most powerful thought the Divine Masculine holds is the deep knowing that he will find his way back to the Divine Feminine. This belief grounds him and gives him the strength to continue his healing, growth, and transformation. It's an unshakable inner knowing that no matter the distance or the time apart, their love is eternal, and the universe will bring them together when the time is right. This thought empowers him to trust in the journey, to continue evolving, and to hold space for the Divine Feminine. The separation phase is a sacred time of growth, healing, and transformation for both the Divine Masculine and Feminine. While it may be challenging, it is also a powerful opportunity for both to evolve individually so that when union occurs, it is built on a foundation of strength, understanding, and unconditional love. If you're in separation right now, know that the Divine Masculine is on his own journey, experiencing his own set of emotions and realizations that are leading him closer to you. Thank you for joining me today, beautiful souls. Remember, every step of this journey is sacred, and the love you share is eternal. Keep faith, stay patient, and continue nurturing yourself. Together, we'll walk this path of love, growth, and awakening. Until next time, keep shining your light, and remember, you are never alone on this journey. Sending you all so much love and light.